Kings River Life magazine, and we've just seen opening night of Next to Normal, presented by Stageworks Fresno. And we are talking with Joel Abels, one of the actors in the show and artistic director for Stageworks. So tell us about your character. Oh my gosh, Dan! <laughs> uh, I cannot relate to him at all. No, I'm kidding. I think that's what uh, that's what makes it so for me every night. I, I can find new things because I. I I'm a father, I'm a dad, I, 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 I can't imagine the things that this family has dealt with, but I, I think that I, I kind of touch in, touch bases with him a lot. So what was it like being on the stage as opposed to directing this time <laughs> Oh, Lori. Oh, Lori. Um, you know, it's hard. Uh, you know, as, as uh, Jay Daniel did an amazing job uh, conceptually and just was able to, if, whether you realize this or not, two and a half weeks, and that's... Wow. That is what we get. Um, it's hard, you know, once a director, always a director, but I also respect the fact that as an actor, I gotta do my thing and let the director do his thing, and that's why I hired the people, and, and you know, I, I do hire guest directors uh, a lot, and that's why that's why I do that, to kind of take some of that pressure off. Normally I'm not in the show, but uh, it, but it's hard, you know, I, there are times I had to step in for little things, technical things, and um, things on the, on the bigger picture kind of stuff, but I never, never once a directing note, a, a, a you just, actors don't, shouldn't do that. <laughs> actors should not give other actors notes. That's acting 101. Okay. And what made you decide that you wanted to play this role? Uh, well, one of the things is, uh, <laughs> I had two callbacks for this role in New York, uh, for the tour, and uh, for the cover of this role, I had to learn 45 pages of dialogue and music. Wow. And I thought, and that's when I really, and I'd loved the show, and I'd seen the show, and I just, I felt that, you know, if there's a time in my life when I can play a middle-aged guy, um, this would be that time. <laughs> True. In my middle age. <laughs> so there it is. And why did Stageworks choose to do this particular show? Uh, you know, Lucky Stiff was the original show in this slot, yes, and I, I knew, that. I knew that if I could, because you know, I knew Next to Normal was on the on the verge of, on the cusp of. Uh, uh, Released, and I said, if we can get that title, it's going there because it's such a brilliant piece of theater. It's just groundbreaking in the way that it was written and, and storytelling through music with that pulse of, of rock and contemporary sound, but it has some traditional musical theater elements to it, and it's just so brilliantly written. Well, on the Pulitzer Prize, and so that's that's kind of why I said, and I love Lucky Stiff too, but it, they're completely different. Oh, definitely. Completely different shows. Yeah. <laughs> the hardest part about this role for you? Wow. Um, the lyrics, learning. I remember, you know, as we as we become more seasoned as performers, it's harder to um, memorize things. I started working on this in January. I had to. I had to start memorizing in January. There's no way. And even tonight, even still, there are words here and there that kind of escape my mind. Well, you couldn't tell. Oh, thank you. Well, it was a great show. Thank and you. hope everybody comes out. Thanks so much for talking Thanks. to us. Thanks. Come on out.